Sister Shani Gordon just noticed that we had 592 views. Did y'all just, did everybody just see what happened? Now do y'all see? There's no way I can fake that. Do y'all understand the information I'm giving y'all? I'm going to have to cut this out. Because pretty soon somebody going to knock at my door. I already see it coming. I already see it coming. I already see it coming. And then I got folk that want to, listen, I need y'all to like and invite now. Yeah, it's crazy. Now y'all see what's going on. Now that ain't, I wish you hadn't even put that. You giving folks ideas. Yeah, for those, does this happen to anybody else? Just tell me that. The numbers went from 110 to 90 to 80 to 70. And I watched them decline all the way down to about 50. They cut me off at 33 minutes. They cut me off at 33 minutes. Stop it. Stop it. And they talking about I ain't saying nothing. Oh, I'm saying something. This is for real, y'all. I'm over here looking. Y'all Yo, got me looking out the window like Malcolm X. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, Dick. We don't want to give him no help. Sister, that's right. Sister Lewis. Sister Lewis showed me when they cut me off last week. They cut me off by the numbers. They cut me off by the actual numbers I was talking about. I didn't even want to believe it. Now y'all saw, did everybody see the numbers? I exposed Facebook last week. And when I exposed how it works, everything, man, you know, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is so you all won't be able to get the right video out. You'll send it out and people will get the wrong thing and say he ain't talking about nothing. This is not a joke, y'all. If y'all don't start supporting this information, if we don't start getting behind this, I don't know what else to tell y'all. I am telling you right now, this is not a game. This is for real. It says 592 views, but yet that's what happened. I keep telling you they can manipulate the numbers. I keep telling you this. We're going to have to almost do this in private. I mean, in person. I am telling y'all. This ain't no joke. Come on in the room. Look at all the numbers coming right back. That's evidence that all the people didn't drop off. Look how many people immediately come back. And Sister Lewis pointed out they did it at exactly 33 minutes. Dante Derricard says he tried to post it to his page and it won't let him. My, I was at like 110 live people and it kept going. Derek Hood talking about let's meet at the restaurant. Right? Steph Kizzy, Sister Steph Kizzy says, meet at 4108 West Clay Street. They can't report that. They scared to come into Word Church. They want to get sneak previews. That's why every week we're getting four and three and four thousand views in 24 hours and only a hundred people on live because a lot of people don't want people to know that they're listening. Anthony Anderson, Brother Anthony Anderson says it was exactly 33 minutes. He don't go to my church, y'all. I never met him before personally in my life. Y'all don't believe it now? Do y'all now believe that I'm saying something that's worth listening to? Sister Tanisha Booker says 119 it was. Jermaine Wright said we in this. I can't say that. We in here though. We in here. Yeah, I'm talking about something. Now you see, this is what we've gone through in every, I promise you. We had to deal with this for 10 years on the radio. Getting kicked off radio stations. Man, listen, listen, like, share, and invite, and then I'm going to get moving. We're going to have to piece this together. I'm going to get this information out tonight. Y'all ready? If y'all ready, everybody get me ready. Give me a ready, quick.
Wow, Sister Lewis got the screenshots. She's sending me the screenshots. I'm getting the screenshots for the for as evidence. Kevin Stokes, you just missed it. I started to expose some stuff. They cut me off at 33 minutes. We were over 100 people, and the numbers dropped from 10, like 90, 80, 76. I mean, they dropped by the tens until they cut us off at exactly 33 minutes. Y'all still think it's a game? It's not. Whoo! This is real. If this don't make all of y'all start sharing this work, start everybody should go back and just share all the videos. Because now you know without a... Listen, I got ready, 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 ready. Now you know without a shadow of a doubt that we're being watched. We're being watched. For those of y'all that are just coming in, y'all are getting ready to be part of history. If I was on here talking about beard gang or gray sweatpants or something stupid, like half the stuff I see going on on Facebook Live, they wouldn't touch it. I was there when his door was broken by a deacon named James Brooke, the door on Nine Mile Road. See you later. I block like Matumbo. I block like Matongo, uh, like Matumbo. Believe that. We already know what's going on. They hating. They trying to catch a buzz off what we got going, but Warfare Wednesday can't be stopped. I thought we already played the song. Now, let's get moving. For those that have followed my work, I cannot go back. I have already proved to you how all the numbers, all of the watch this, all of the rituals that I displayed through your news, through your sports, through all of your uh, activities. I need y'all to get this. News report activities, uh, your, your genres of uh, music, movies, entertainment, Hollywood. Please don't forget where Hollywood comes from. Hollywood comes from the Celtics, the Druidic Celtics, okay? Like Merlin Magician. Merlin the Magician had a magic wand. The magic wand Merlin Magician had was made out of the wood of a holly tree. The, the wood of a holly tree. From that, they created Hollywood because they believe that they're able to program people through the magic wand, which is the movie industry, which is the television industry, and that is why they call it Hollywood. Wood, magical Hollywood. But let's keep moving. When they shut me down, showing the numbers 42 and, and 23. That's all right. The number 42 usually has to deal with black people, shaming and murder. But God got me. Okay. So now, now let me give you all this. If you've been watching my work, I just got to teach now, y'all. I can't stop because we never know when they're going to interrupt us again. For those who, who watch my video, it is no question for those who have been following our work, and I say our work, there is no question that what we're saying is no longer a coincidence. This is, is actually reality. Everything in your news, everything, watch this, that's right, Brother Kendrell. Everything in your news, everything that's in your sports, professional sports world, everything that's in your music, all that's going on in your politics are all scripted by numbers. Now, these numbers are cultic numbers based on Jewish, Kabbalah, Gematria, and other things of that nature. Oh, are you listening? Masonic symbolism. Okay? You got to go back and watch my last videos or this might not make sense. After the Vegas shooting, I warned y'all about the number five. As a matter of fact, I warned y'all about the number five in Harvey's, I mean, in Arkey's Barbershop, not Harvey's, in Arkey's Barbershop uh, on Nine Mile Road, uh, on Nine Mile Road across from Hollis Springs High School. I've been telling them about the number five since about two, almost, almost two Super Bowls ago. Okay? Now, I warned you about the number five. Dealing with Mayweather. I explained to you how Mayweather uh, is really not his name. 
You all did the research. Floyd Mayweather is not his name. May is the fifth month and it used to be the third month. I told you what numbers to look out for. I explained to you how Mayweather fight would go over five rounds. I explained to you why that is. I explained also to you how the Mayweather fight is connected to the, watch this, to the, he, to the uh, storm, to the weather. That's right, the destructive weather we received uh, by way of something that we understand that's called harp. For those that don't believe it, most of your dangerous weather now is manipulated by your own people, by your own government. I'm going to get into some heavy numbers. Don't go anywhere. Now, when I got up to 110 people a minute ago, they just knocked all my numbers down and cut me off with 33 minutes left. But here we go. And we bind every spirit right now of witchcraft. We come and we take authority over the airways. We take authority over the Internet. We untangle the Internet in Jesus name right now. I got to keep moving. I got to keep moving. I warned you about Harvey. I warned you about Harvey. I showed you how Steve Harvey had the best show, had the best seat at the show, at the fight, at the Mayweather fight, where five days later, you saw the storm. Watch this. Harvey hit Houston, which is Hughes Town, which is black folks town, with 50 inches, with 50 inches, over 50 inches. Inches, the number five again, where, where uh, Joe Osteen, good old Joe Osteen, charlatan, Masonic connected Joe Osteen would not open his church. Remember the news had Joe Osteen and then the news report says Osteen opens his church after five days, five days. I hope y'all have done the research on all of that. I then begin to explain to you what was coming next. So now let's speed up to Vegas. We, we talked about Vegas, how they say that in Las Vegas, a man, I'm getting ready to get going, y'all, like, share, and invite, how a man was supposedly a 64-year-old man by the name of Paddock, okay, Stephen Paddock who supposedly stood on the 32nd floor. What numbers? Three and two. I warned y'all about the three and the two, which is what? Five. How Stephen Paddock was on the 32nd floor, and he really wasn't. There were multiple shooters. I'm almost certain of that. And he, in fact, was not even on the 32nd floor. But remember, they don't report the news. They make the news. I got to move fast. So y'all hang in there with me. Are you listening? Paddock. On the 32nd floor, which is five. Now, for those that have been watching me, after I warned you about this, I also told you watch all the events on the news that week. Whenever something happens in the news, watch how the numbers all correlate. Every week, every month, every year, the numbers all correlate. I need y'all to stay focused. The numbers all correlate. Okay? Watch this. Watch this and listen good. As the Vegas, I'm not going to talk about Richmond Killers right now. I can't do it right now. I'll do it in a little bit if I can get to them. I need to deal with this. You all need to see what's really going on in this nation called America. That's not a country. It's a corporation. You need to understand how the Masonic Jews, that's right, how they control every aspect. Okay. Anthony Anderson says, on Monday Night Football, the commentator clearly said the Chicago Bears hadn't played a game, hadn't had a play over 30 yards all season. Good eye. I didn't know that. I didn't know that, Brother Anthony Anderson. Now you, now you got it. You got it. You got it. But watch this. So I warned everybody last week about the numbers. Now, last Wednesday, I came on here last Wednesday. If y'all can remember last Wednesday, I said, please don't forget to watch the next day, the next day football game, Thursday night football. Who played on Thursday night? Somebody put it quickly. Who played on Thursday night? I got to do this quickly so I can get to some other stuff because everybody don't watch football. But I know a lot of y'all worship football. And so I want to hit you with the things you love so then I can begin to give you the things that you need. Who played on Thursday night after I talked to y'all last Wednesday. I want to just show you something. 
because I walked you through numbers. Somebody please put down who played last Thursday night quickly. Come on, you NFL folks. Chicago played last Thursday night. Last Thursday night. Thank you, Brother Anthony Anderson. New England Patriots played who? Hold on. Last Thursday night, the Patriots played who? And Brother Davian, I'm glad he brought that up. The week before, I told you about the number five, and you saw the linebacker for the Kansas City Chiefs score number 50. After we told you about five and 50, the, the, the linebacker the next day went and what? Scored, watch this, number 50. His last name was Houston. <laughs> oh my God, they're playing games with y'all. They played the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now stay with me. I'm getting ready to show you something and I'm going to get you some new information. I'm going to get you some new information, but I got to work my way up. So now I warned you that in the game, look for those numbers. And if you remember last week, I talked about 33. I talked about 13. I talked about 47. I talked about all of these numbers last week. Y'all remember that, right? Now, the New England England Patriots, Patriots, who, by the way, have been dominating football since 9-11 after the Patriots act. It's all scripted. That's why Tom Brady and, and the Patriots can't lose. It's scripted. Well, did y'all watch the game? Did y'all watch the game? How many of y'all saw? Don't take my word. Go back and look at the stats. Tom Brady finished with 303 yards. After we talked about the number 33, he finished with 303. Zero has no value. It's 33. And then watch this. Y'all ready for this? The final score of the Patriots game after we told y'all was 19 to 14. 19 to 14. 19 to 14, Michael Neville's equals 33. The same game. Y'all still think it's a joke? And it was on the fifth. Come on, Havadis. Come on, man. It was on the fifth. It was on the fifth. Oh, I'm about to give y'all some new stuff. Don't worry. I just got to remind y'all of how we got here. Okay? Don't call it a comeback. We ain't never leave. I got to get this to y'all straight. So right after I talked to y'all last Wednesday, the Thursday night game came out to 33 points. Tom Brady had 303 yards. And ready for this stat? It was exactly 303 days before Tom Brady's birthday. Exactly 303 days with the 300 and the point spread was five. I didn't know that. Anthony Anderson, that's why I love Warfare Wednesday people because y'all give me the missing pieces that I can't spot out. Now, y'all still think it's a joke, Brother Rip? You know I can't lie. I see you over there working on riddles yourself. I'm right with you, brother. I'm following right along with you. Now, Dominique Ross just pointed out something her husband did. He did excellent work. Go on my page and you will see that Jared Ross caught them changing the camera or changing the clock for Tom Brady. They've been accused of doing this over and over, resetting the play clock to number 25, which is a number that I have told y'all about over and over is dedicated to Tom Brady, number 25, which is why he won the Super Bowl. And it was his 25th. It was his 25th playoff win. It was the AFC's 25th Super Bowl. It was on February the 5th, which is 2-5 again. Oh, yeah. And then in the headlines two weeks ago, ESPN said had a headline that said, Tom Brady drinks 2.5 gallons of water. Kalita Wooten says, men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. Already. You already know. Now I'm about to get moving because I'm feeling pretty good. We ought to be well over 100. Y'all slipping. All right? Watch this. So I warned you last week. That's Thursday night. That's one game. They do it all the time, Derek Hood. They do it all the time. Watch this. Share, like, and invite. Please, y'all. Thank you, Dante Derricott. Man, I appreciate you, man. Thank you for staying on your toes and keeping everybody with you. Now watch this. 
If that wasn't enough, y'all did such good work. I, I jot down a few things that you all posted on my page. One of you all posted the news headline that talked about the biggest drug bust that happened in a long time. It says 130 pounds of marijuana. And this is what the headline says. You posted on my page. 130 pounds of marijuana. And it says with a value at about $500,000. And again, zero has no value. There it is again, 13 and 5. Somebody else posted this. The Vegas shooter, watch this. The Vegas shooter, that's right, Madden did come out on August the 25th. And if I had time, Eric Dwayne, I would tell you to go back and reset your Madden game and look at the symbol that's being put up when you first put Madden on. But I ain't got time to go over it right now. Good work, Eric Dwayne. Now I'm feel like moving. Here we go. Here we go. So now, one of you all posted that the shooter of Vegas, y'all ready for this? After we talked about 50, the next morning, the next morning, the headline said they found 50 pounds of explosives in the Las Vegas shooter's car. How many pounds? 50 pounds of what they call, is it tamarite or tanite? Explosives. Did y'all see that? You go look on my page on Facebook. You will see one of you all did good work and posted that on my page. Shout out to Warfare Wednesday, the family. Y'all do excellent work. Now, the next headline in the same day said he bought 33 guns over the span of 12 months. And I explained to you about the number 12 last week too. I explained to you why there are 12 days of Christmas, why there are 12 grades to a school, why there's 12 steps to recovery, why there were 12 disciples. I explained to you why there are 12 hours in a day. I explained to you why there's 12 jury and one judge, why there's 12 disciples and one Jesus to make 13. I told you about 12 on Wednesday and on Thursday the headline said they found watch this 33 guns in tw said the, the shooter went and bought 33 guns in 12 watch this in 12 in 12 months okay I'm gonna get to some new stuff but I gotta walk y'all through this now for those who don't know about football I'm gonna come to y'all in a minute just hang in there now if that weren't enough they said they found 47 Okay, don't worry, Brother Brandon. I'll be at the barbershop on Friday, and I'm going to take questions at the end of this, too. So hang in there. They said they found 47 guns found in the hotel. 47. After I told y'all about the number 47, when the game was delayed the Thursday before last with a 47-minute delay for weather. Now, let's go back to Vegas. Stay with me. So if you remember, the shooting at Vegas happened... At the Route 91, I'm about to get good graces of life. It happened at the Route 91, the Route 91 Festival, Harvest Festival. The shooting at Vegas took place at the concert, which was at the Route 91 Harvest Festival. I need y'all to stay with me. I told y'all to watch for the numbers nine and one. And if you remember last week, last week, that's right, Shea, Deacon Shea Brown, it happened at 10.08. The zeros have no value. What is 1 and 8? It's 9 again. I explained to you what 9.11 meant last week, and I'll go back over it this week. 9.11 being the emergency number. Okay? All right? Listen good. I want you to understand this. I want you to understand this. This is very important. Now, I explained 91. I explained 91. Now, stay with me. Route 91 was the place where the concert took place. It happened on 10 slash 1, October the 1st, which leaves 91 days left in the year. The shooting of Vegas happened on 9, watch this, happened on 10 slash 1, October the 1st, 
on Route 91 with 91 days left in the year. And like all news, I keep telling y'all, all the news go together that week. It's the same week that Hugh Hefner died at age 91. At age 91. Well, hold on for a minute. The next morning, the next morning, Sister Steph Kizzy, the report headline said the shooter was shooting for 9 to 11 minutes. What a stupid headline. But I keep telling you, they sculpt, they, they create the news to fit their rituals, their numerology, and their narratives. I told you about 91, and then y'all posted on my page that the shooter was shooting for 9, why would they even say that? 9 to 11 minutes. Okay? Are y'all with me? So let's backtrack. It happened on Route 91. With 91 days left in the year, Hugh Hefner died the same week with 91, like the shooter that was on the 32nd floor. Watch this. The shooter was on the 32nd floor the same week O.J. Simpson got out right out of the Vegas area. He was released from prison out of the Vegas area. He was number 32. O.J. Simpson's jersey number was 32. Watch this, y'all. O.J. Simpson had just got out of doing a 33-year prison sentence, but he only served nine. But he only served nine. My God, they playing games with us. O.J. Simpson had a 33-year prison sentence. And that's right. 91 is the reflection of 19. But stay with me. Stay with me. O.J. Simpson is number 32. He did a, he got out on the same week that the shooter was on the 32nd floor of the, now I got something for y'all, I got something for y'all, of the Mandalay Bay Hotel, Mandalay Bay Hotel opened on March the 2nd, 1999. The Mandalay, watch this, the Mandalay Bay Hotel opened up, okay, the Mandalay Hotel, watch this, and let me just get this out the way for these people that's, that that's keep tweaking in about the number zero. I said that the number zero has no value when we're counting up what's called the Gematria or Kabbalah. I didn't say that zero don't have a significance. Zero is a number that has a lot to do with women, energy, and power, and a never-ending uh, power. And there's a lot of things I could talk about. Please, let's stay on point. Now, stay with me. Stay with me. So, 91, watch this, y'all, 91, let's go back, no, let's go back to 32, he was on the 32nd floor, OJ got out, uh, number 32 in Vegas, where the shooting happened at, in the Vegas area, where the shooting happened at, he got out where the shooting happened at, OJ Played in a movie before he did. Watch this. O.J. Simpson played in his last movie before getting in trouble for murder. For murder. The name of the movie he was in was called Naked Gun 33 and a third. A third is 33%. Naked Gun 33 and a third. This is all a review. I'm going to get to the new stuff. But here's the part y'all miss. The Mandalay Bay Hotel opened up on March the 2nd. Do y'all know what numbers that is? March the 2nd, 1999. Look it up. Y'all think I'm bluffing? Look it up. March the 2nd is 3 and 2 again. March the 2nd is 3 and 2. Hold on for a minute, Pastor Rob. If that won't enough, after we talked last week, they showed the brother to the shooter. Remember the brother? Stephen Paddock's brother? They said he was in, watch this, he was in Orlando. Of course he was in Orlando. It's a script. Duh. He was in, what do you mean? The last big shooting, the greatest shooting to ever be reported, they say, was in Orlando, remember? So now they go to his brother's house and the, watch this. They put the brother's house on the news. And if you look up the address of his brother's house, his address was... 320 Hammett Dunes Place. Oh my God, y'all not hearing me. His brother's address was 320 Doom Hammett or Hammett Dunes Place. Y'all not hearing me today. 32 again, and that's five. 
Shout out to Sister Hall from Philadelphia. Shout out to Philly. Come on, somebody. City of brotherly love. Are y'all listening to what I'm saying right now? So now we adding every week more information that they are making fun of you all that think that this is real news. This is scripted. This is fake. This is falsified. This is propaganda. This is contrived. This is a false flag. Ladies and gentlemen, they are murdering people by the numbers. Are y'all listening to me today? So let's do another recap. He was on the 32nd floor of the same week that OJ number 32 was released from a 33 year prison sentence and he only did nine years. While that was going on, the Mandalay Bay Hotel is the name of the hotel that opened on March the 2nd. That's 3 and 2, 1999. 3 and 2, 1999. They later did an interview this week with his brother his brother who was living at, watch this, his brother that's living at 320 Hammock Dunes, Doom Hammock Place. Go back and look at it. I'm at 31 minutes. Will they boot me at 33 again? I hope not. I got to keep moving. Now, for those that watch sports, all the sports are riddles. And I got to get off sports, but I got to give y'all. Who got traded this week? Who got traded this week? Because I keep telling y'all the Catholics, the Vatican... The Zionist Jews, all these congl all these uh, 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 conspirators work together to control the masses. Who got traded this week? Thank you, Damian Lewis, Brother Rip, AP, Eric Dwayne, AP. Now, Adrian Peterson, I wish I had time to get into his numbers. I wish I had time, but let me just tell you about Adrian Peterson. The riddle is he got traded from the, watch this. From the Saints to the Cardinals. What? He went from the Saints to the Cardinals. On Watch this. On Watch this. It's all a joke. They're making fun of you. They're making fun of you. They're making fun of us. They traded Adrian Peterson from the, watch this, from the Saints to the Cardinals. A Saint is a Catholic term for somebody that's elevated to sainthood. And then when they elevate again, they elevate to the priesthood of a cardinal. Adrian Peterson was elevated and he's now number 23. Stop it. I didn't know that. I didn't know that, Davian Lewis. I didn't know that. Five again. Five again. And hold on for a minute. Watch this. Watch this. Shout out to you. Uh, good to see you, Prophet Dismu. Listen good. Listen good. I didn't know that. All of this happened on, watch this. All of this stuff happened with the Catholics, happened on Christopher Columbus Day. Please read my statement, Reverend 13. Okay, I'm going to get to 13 in a minute, so you may have to write it again, Sister P, okay? I'm going to deal with 13s in a minute. I'm going to get off sports. Now, let me show y'all something else. Let me show y'all something else. Adrian Peterson traded, the news showed it on Christopher Columbus Day. Christopher Columbus in simple, watch this, simple Masonic symbolism. I, I don't want to use the terms because I would have to explain it. Simple gematria, okay, is CC. His initials are CC. C being the third letter. Watch this. CC is 33. Christopher Columbus was paid by the Catholic Church to take that voyage. Did y'all hear what I say? Go and research. You will see that Christopher Columbus, who was a murderer and a rapist and a, a, a starched res responsible for genocide. Yes, he was. Christopher Columbus was hired by the Catholic Church. Are you listening? Christopher Columbus was hired by the Catholic Church on the same day, Christopher Columbus Day, Adrian Peterson goes from being a saint to a cardinal. Now, I'm going to really blow y'all away. I need my football fans because I'm going to leave football alone after this. Who played last? What was the last game played? Monday night? Who played Monday night? Quickly, quickly. Because see, I do this every week. I do this every week. Y'all still playing like we ain't putting out the best information. Shout out to everybody that's uh, becoming uh, enlightened. That's beginning to wake up. Okay. 
Sister Kuba says, I posted on your timeline. Thank you. Chicago versus the Vikings. Now, let me show you this again, Brother Sean Fields. Stay with me. Walk with me for a minute because they still think it's a joke. How many times y'all going to still play games and think we on here just talking and dog? I ain't talking for my health. Here you go. The Minnesota Vikings. What is a Viking? A Viking are the people who are like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They're pirates that move on ships. Now watch this. They set up the game on Christopher Columbus Day. On Christopher Columbus Day, the day when that liar sailed and claimed to uh, discover America. On Christopher Columbus Day, they set up a game with the Vikings who, who ride in on ships and steal. Are you listening to me? Like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers that played last year, that played last year on Christopher Columbus Day. But let me keep going for a minute because I'm heating up. I'm only getting started. Y'all ain't heard nothing yet. Watch this. The Minnesota Vikings played, and as the Minnesota Vikings played, they played who? The Chicago Bears. Now let me show you how to work these numbers real quick. I need somebody to do the math. I want you to count the letters and the numbers. I'm going to give you a simple way to do this. This is a simple way. A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, D is 4. Are y'all understanding? So if there are 26 letters in the alphabet, Z would be, are y'all listening? Now, here's one of the ways they code numbers. I'm getting ready to show you this. If A is 1 and B is 2, C is 3, somebody now do the math on Chicago. Do the math on Chicago right now. Spell out the letters of Chicago. And Sister Talisha Coleman, you tagged me while this game was on, and I posted it on your, on your page. So this ain't nothing I got from nobody. I got this in real time, and I sent it straight to you while the game was on. If you go back and look at that post while that game was on, you said something like, do you see this, Pastor Rob Scarborough? Are you there, Sister Talisha Coleman? If you're there, do you remember saying to me during the game, tagging me and saying, do you see this? Do you see this? Come on, quickly, quickly. Is she there? Is Sister Alicia Coleman there? If not, y'all can go to her page if y'all her friend and see that she tagged me during the game. While the game was still on, it, was, it wasn't even late, I don't think, in the game. Are y'all watching this? Are y'all watching Is Sister Lisa, can somebody go and look on her page and bear witness that she tagged me in that game on Monday night, Christopher Columbus. Okay, Anthony Anderson, her husband is right there. He says, yes, she, they was watching together. I put on there a breakdown of the word Chicago. Is that true, Anthony Anderson? You can speak for your wife. They don't go to my church. They don't come around me. They're not lying for me. These are sports fans like myself. Football people that love the game. As she posted and tagged me, I put on her page a breakdown of Chicago, and I told her, you ain't seen nothing yet. This happened in real time. Anthony Anderson says correct. Now watch this. Can somebody please, I can't help that, Sister Wooten, I'm sorry. Can somebody please break down Chicago? Shout out to Brother Rick. Can somebody please break out, break down Chicago? C is the third letter. C is the third letter. My church is located at 4108 West Clay Street. We're going to put the address up in a few minutes. Matter of fact, somebody do that for him and give him the service time. Watch this. Tyrone Hinton says seven plus five. Hold on for a minute. You didn't do that right. No, just do Chicago. Don't do Bears. Just do Chicago. Just do Chicago. 3 plus 8 plus 9 plus 3 plus 1 plus 7. What does that come out to? Steph Kizzy, what does that come out to, sis? I think that's close to the right numbers. I can't think and look at it. No, that's not right. That's not right. When you do Chicago right, 
is going to come out to 30 to 46. Thank you, Anthony Anderson. 46. 46. Now, I got a question. I got a question. All of y'all football fans. What is the Chicago Bears noted for? What is the most popular defense they made a, a staple? Watch this. Don't worry about it, Brother Tyrone Hinton. It's all good. I ain't even want to try it. The 4-6 defense. Chicago equals 46. They are popular for doing the 4-6 defense. And since y'all think that's a coincidence... Go watch their last Super Bowl. They scored. Watch this. The Chicago Bears, who were never known for their offense, always known for their defense, they won the game, or the game score was 46 to 10. Oh, my God. The last Super Bowl Chicago played in, the score was 46 to 10. Of the 4-6 Chicago, watch this, who famous for playing the 4-6 defense. Stay with me. Shout out to Zach for that one, because that part I didn't think about, but I want to give you this. Here you go. Here you go. I ain't finished. Pardon my English, but I ain't finished. I'm just heating up. Now, stay with me. Now, let's go back to Vegas. Notice Rashad Jenkins. Are you still there? All my Raiders fans. All my Raiders fans. Then I got to get off football. I promise, everybody don't know about football, thank y'all for patience, but I have to do this because that's all people care about is sports, drugs, sex, twerking, uh, uh, stupid challenges, dumb uh, entertainment, and I have to give them something that they can keep there, that can, watch this, Devin Hester scored the only touchdown, number 23, I didn't know that, is that true, is that true, Dominic Ross, I'm done, I'm done. I'm done. Where my Raiders fans at? Any Raiders fans? I'm getting ready to show y'all why y'all are doing so bad all of a sudden. I'm getting ready to show y'all why y'all doing so bad all of a sudden. Don't worry about it, Tisha Griffin. Sister Tisha, I'm getting off football in three minutes. Just stay with me for a second. Watch this. Eric Dwayne, you a football fan. You trying to figure out why y'all all of a sudden look sorry. Just like Rashad Jenkins. He was, I thought he was in here. Okay? I need you to get this. Adrian Peterson's stats for 2017 are 27 carries. 2 plus 7 is 9. Ah! All right, watch this. Eric Dwayne, everybody thought the Raiders was going to be a force to be reckoned with. But right now, y'all are part of a ritualistic shaming that goes back, watch this, to the Bay Area, which is why Donald Trump called out Watch this. Why Donald Trump only called out players from the Bay Area where the Black Panthers originated. But stay with me for a minute. Stay with me for a minute. If you went to the Redskins game, I'm a Redskins fan. I was. When I say that, I was a Redskins fan. Okay? Watch this. They made the Raiders lose part of the script. Now, remember I told you about 91? Watch this, Raiders fans. Watch this. Rashad Jenkins is going to miss it. I'm trying to show him and give him some sense of relief. I told you about 91. Remember, Las Vegas shooting happened on Route 91 Harvest Festival. Watch this. Leaving on October the 1st, leaving 91 days left in the year while Hugh Hefner died in 91. Don't forget, the Raiders' best player ever died. I mean, oh Lord have mercy, he didn't die. The, the Raiders' best player ever got hurt in what year? Bo Jackson? In year 91. But stay with me for a minute. I'm going to blow you away, Raiders fans. I have for you the first four games that the Raiders played this year. Here are their scores before the Vegas shooting. And then I'm done with football. I'm done with football after this. I'm done. I have proved my point another week. Here we go. Watch this. The first week, the Raiders scored 26. The second week, the Raiders scored 45. The third week, the Raiders scored 10. And the fourth week, the Raiders scored 10. Does that sound right, Brother Eric Dwayne? I think that's right. Y'all got to check me on them numbers. 
Quickly. I need a Raiders fan to do the numbers. Check that. And make sure it's right. Watch this. I'm getting ready to show you, Eric Dwayne. Are those the right scores for the first four weeks of Raiders football? I'm getting ready to show you it's all a joke. What are the first four scores? And then I'm getting off of football. I need somebody to check behind me. Because what I'm going to show you is all the games. Watch this. I don't. I, you can't think, Brother Eric. You got to know. You got to know my work has to be right. The stuff that I'm talking about has to be right. Curtis Winfrey says true. Let's keep moving. Here we go. Here we go. The Las Vegas Raiders, watch this, scored 26. Can y'all add this up? 45, 10 and 10. Can somebody do the math quickly? What does it come out to? I know, Eric Dwayne, I was right. I told you I'm the book, you ain't got to look. Shout out to Brother Dean for that one. Shout out to Brother Dean from the barbershop. Listen good. Anthony Anderson says I'm right. Thank you, Brother Anthony Anderson. Michelle Israel Barnes did the math. It comes out to 91. So they take the loss. Watch this. They take the Los Angeles Raiders that are now the Las Vegas Raiders. They score every game up until the Vegas shooting four weeks and equal out to 91. That led them to the Las Vegas 91 Harvest Fest shooting. I keep telling y'all they making jokes out of this. Now that ain't even nothing. I'm not done yet. Now where are my music fans? Brother, uh, brother Tyrone D. Henn, you the DJ. You're the music man. Watch this. Watch this. Hello, Sister Kissa. Sister Kissa. I'm telling you, this is impeccable work. You all have done a wonderful job. You all have proven that this is fake. Music fans, Deacon Jamal Harris, the best I know. Here you go. The Loonies. Remember the Loonies from the Bay Area? They had a song called Oakland Raiders years ago. Look it up right now. Everybody go look up the song Oakland Raiders right now. Do it right now. Pull up the lyrics. And tell me what year that song came out. Quickly. Quickly. Then I'm going to get off of this. East Oakland. That's right. The loonies from East Oakland. I got five on it. That ain't the song, but that was my jam. Keep going. That's not the song, no. I just told y'all the song. The, did you know the loonies from the Bay Area did a song called Oakland Raiders? Anybody got it? It came out when, Eric? 2002. I don't know if that's true or not. You've been wrong a lot tonight. So somebody double check that. Now, anybody got the lyrics up? Ashley Watts says 2002. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. She's light skinned, almost white. And I always, you know, we always trust white folks anyway. We just believe them. So let's believe her. Watch this. Watch this. Can somebody pull up the lyrics? Pull up the lyrics. Pull up the lyrics quickly. Pull up the lyrics to the song called Oakland Raiders. Quickly. Thank you, Tyrone Hinton. And then I'm getting off football. And I'm going to help everybody else that has been so patient with all this football garbage. Do y'all have the lyrics? Just let me know when you pulled up the lyrics. Deacon Jamal Harris found it. In the song, it's 50 minutes. Watch this. Hold on for a minute. Hold on, Austin. You got to explain what's 50 minutes. Deacon Jamal Harris found the lyrics to the song that was made. I keep telling you all of the genres, music, sports, politics, all use the same rituals. Now watch this. The lyrics actually say, 
Oakland Raiders will move from, watch this, from L.A. to Oakland to Vegas. Now watch this. How did they know that the Los Angeles Lake, uh, Los Angeles Raiders would go from L.A. to Oakland to Vegas? Y'all see it? That was in 2002. How did they know that? How did they know that? It's scripted. All right, I'm done with football. Shout out to everybody that was patient enough for me to show this. For those that got cut off earlier, I'm sorry. Google, Facebook does what they want to do to us, but they're liars. Oh, by the way, did y'all check the status of Mr. Paddock? What's up, the brand king? What's up, brother? Watch this, y'all. Watch this. And y'all played Tampa Bay that year. But hold on for a minute. The Oakland Raiders is a Masonic symbol just like that too. It's the covering of one eye. And if you know, watch this. If you know about the eye, watch this. You know, if you know about the Masons, you know that they do the covering of the hand and the covering of the eye. But I'm going to leave that alone. Sister Kiss has seen it. I love when people check behind us. Let's keep going. Now, Columbus Day in this numerology. Thank you, uh, Sister Michelle Barnes. Sister Michelle Israel Barnes. Thank you, sis. Watch this. The number system of Christopher Columbus. This is my last sports fact. Y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Equals to 37. Okay, 37 is Christopher Columbus number. And for those that watch the game on Christopher Columbus Day, which was Monday night, are there any baseball fans in here? Are there any baseball fans? Quickly. Yes, Sister Wooden. Yes. Yes. God bless you, Sister Karen. We are amazing. Most of this work is stuff y'all have done to help me. All right, baseball people. First of all, what was the final score Monday night? Quickly, quickly. I got to go because I got people that don't watch sports. I can't do this to them. Hey, Sister Tasha Allen Tonstall, come on in. Watch this. Quickly, quickly. I got to go. I got to go. What was the score on Monday night's Christopher Columbus? No. No. Monday night's game. Christopher Columbus football game was Chicago against uh, the Vikings. What was it? Come on, quickly. I got to go. I've already proven that sports is fake. What else y'all want to do? No. Dominique, you, Sister Dominique, you guessing. You don't watch no football. Thank you, Brother Tyrone. Brother Tyrone said 20 to 17. Now, I just told y'all that Christopher Columbus, watch this. Sister Payne, you got to go back and watch. You got to go back and watch. Christopher Columbus, thank you, is 37. What's the total of that game? 20 and 17 is 37. Now, watch baseball. Guess who played on Christopher Columbus Day in baseball? <laughs> I get so hyped. Hold on, watch this. Guess who played in the baseball game? The Cleveland Indians against the Yankees. Oh my God, they playing games with us. On Christopher Columbus Day, the good old white Yankees played against the old colored Cleveland Indians. Guess what the score was? The score was three to seven. Three to seven, just like the 37 that was scored on Christopher Columbus night, Monday night in the football game. Y'all still think it's a coincidence or do y'all see that these numbers mean something? And I could take you to Kabbalah right now. Did y'all see that? 
The baseball game, they put the Cleveland Indians against the what? The Yankees. That's what happened. That's what they told you happened on Christopher Columbus Day. They came. Now, let me say this so I can get away from sports. Let me take a breath and get away from sports. Thank y'all that were patient. Now, cheese. By the way, I can't wait to see what's going to happen to Tom Brady. Because remember, Tom Brady's career started by Drew Bledsoe getting hurt by getting hit by a New York Jet. <laughs> the Patriot got hit by a New York Jet 9-11, which is when the Patriot act, all that stuff happened, and then the Patriots went on their run. Watch how his career ends. This is going to be good. Now stay with me. Stay with me. Oh, Where do I go next? In, in reference to Christopher Columbus, let's stop lying. Let's stop playing games. I'm going to say this and leave it alone. Christopher Columbus it wasn't even the right white man to get off the boat. Okay? Christopher Columbus Day is actually should be called Leif, Leif Erickson Day. Leif Erickson. Look him up. Leif Erickson Day. But... None of that matters because when you call people Native Americans, when you call them Indians, you're really disrespecting them. Okay? That's something people don't understand. You should never call them Indians. Watch this. You should never call them Indians. <laughs> the Native Americans were not who you think they were. Okay, Brother Anthony, Brother Anthony, uh, Anthony Anderson said, leave it alone. Yes, I got to leave it alone too. But I got to say this. The Native Americans were not Native Americans. They're not who you think they are. Okay? Who we call black people, and I know that's not the right term, but for lack of better words, black people were already in America before the slave trade, okay? Black people had already made it to, pr pr uh, to pretty much every part of the world. If you go back and you research, you will see that the Native Americans were colored people. I'm going to leave that alone. That's what I'm finding out right now. And that we only begin to lighten in color a great deal because of the mixing that happened by the white man. I'm going to leave that alone. Okay? The reason they call them Indians is because when Columbus got there, he thought he was in India. And because he thought they were from India, thank you, Michael Neville. That's Leif Erickson. Thank you. Thank you for those that research. Listen good. When he got there, he thought he landed in India, so he called the people Indians. Even your NFL teams are named after these truths, you got to know. That's why the Washington Redskins are really the Wachita, the Wachita, the Wachita Native Americans, as they call them, or some people call them Indians. They were black. If you look at the original Redskin logo, my son's bedroom is Redskin. And they were black, like the Black Hawks. Thank you, Deacon Jamal. It's a black Indian. Okay? We begin to turn red and lighter colored as we begin to mix. And because of the climate and other things. Understand black people were here before we were brought here on boats. I just thought I'd throw that out there because I'm so tired of people operating and talking in ignorance. Okay? And that's why we used to grow up saying, all black people love to say, I got Indian in me. I got Indian in my family. You dang on right you do. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You don't got Indian in you. <laughs> they got black in them. The New Orleans black Indians. Exactly. Exactly. Now, let's go to some numbers. Arab, anybody learning anything tonight? I appreciate the sports people that waited on me. All right, now.
Now, oh, how do I deal with these numbers so y'all can better understand how these numbers work? Black folks already circumnavig uh, circumnavigated the globe. Yes. Yes, Deacon Jamal. Yes. The number three has a lot of significance, but when you're dealing with masonry, three is the first three degrees. It's the first degrees of masonry. Are you listening? They're called the blue degrees. That's why when you talk to somebody, you say, man, man, they showed up out the blue. You don't even know you're speaking Masonic terminology. The first three degrees are the blue degrees. Okay. Some score, Sister Tasha says, uh, you got to keep me up. Let me know what you're talking about. Watch this. Good. Thank you, Sister Deborah Scarborough. Watch this, Utley. Now watch this. Watch this. The first three degrees, since y'all are asking the question, are blue degrees. That's why you say, did, did something happen out of the blue? And then when the Masons get to the third degree, when the, the score of the Yankees and Indians right now is three to two, stop it. Keep on preaching, Brother Anthony. Keep on telling them. Now watch this. That, when, when they get to the third degree in Masons, they have to go through a lining of questioning. They have to know certain things. That's why when you fussing with somebody and somebody asking you a lot of questions, you say this, you ain't going to give me the third degree. You ain't going to give me the third degree. That's Masonic symbolism. That's why Jay, the first three degrees of masonry, every Tuesday, we ain't going nowhere. We let all the people do what they had to do, go where they had to go, talk about us and say this and the other. And we just stay right where we are and kept preaching the truth. Now watch this. Watch this. The first three degrees. You're exactly right, Kevin Stokes. I ain't reading all that out, but everybody can see what he just wrote. He's exactly right. Watch this. The first three degrees are called the blue degrees. Okay? The blue degrees. That's why Jay-Z's daughter is named Blue Ivy. That's why his album was called The Blueprint. That's why Elvis Presley did Blue Suede Shoes, Five O'Clock Blues, Blue, Blue Midnight, uh, Blues Blues. Uh, that's why you got blues clues. That's why I, mean, I could go on and on. And I've done this already. Y'all got to go back and watch my last videos. It's all Masonic symbolism. So that's the number three. But hold on for a minute. I want to show you some stuff about some more numbers. Okay. And if y'all tired, we can go. Because I am. Now, the numbers under the blue moon. That's right. The numbers three, five, seven. Blues traveler is a Masonic term, Brother Reuben. Because when a Mason see another Mason, he said, are you a traveling man? Jay-Z said his favorite hue is blue. Yes. He's letting you know black people do not take precedence to him over his Masonic brotherhood. The symbol of Rockefeller is the diamond. The same diamond that Masons have the G in. Now, remember I told y'all about the number 47? Blue's Clues, that's right. The number 47 was important two weeks ago, remember that? The reason why the number 47 was important two weeks ago is because 47 is the Masonic number for the degrees. You know that symbol that the Masons have with the G in it, the diamond? That is called a 47 degree angle. Oh, that is the 47 degree. Let me say it that way. So everything that's 47 is related to the 47 degrees of Masonic symbolism. Y'all still with me? Now, the numbers 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and 33 
and all the multiples. That's right. It's called the compass. Thank you, Brother Ruben. You're exactly right. The Masonic compass, that diamond that Jay-Z threw up, the rock. The rock is a symbol of masons like Rockefeller. Chevy built tough like a rock. Rocketeer, rock a doodle, fraggle rock, rock, rock. None of these things are real names like the rock. Uh, 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 man, I could go on and on. I, I've done it. Go back and watch my Jay-Z blue is a color. Yes. Yes. The brand. Yes. Y'all getting it now. It's not by mistake. Now watch this. All the multiples. Of 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and 33 uh, are all have esoteric meaning. Okay? They all have esoteric meaning. And the dates have all numeral uh, have a numerological significance. Let me say it that way. That they use to stage events and false flags. Now, that's why most of your famous bands and music have five members. Did you notice that? Five members. That's why it's the Jackson Five. That's why it's, come on, help me out, y'all. It's the Jackson Five. It's, uh, hold on for a minute. The Spice Girls, I think, had five. Uh, New Kids on the Block had five. The Pussycat Gals had five. Backstreet Boys had five. In Sync had five. And of course, we started with the Jackson Five. New Edition had five. There you go. The Five Stair Steps. Come on, man. Are y'all seeing this? That's why five is so important. The Five Heartbeats. Duh, I forgot that. Thank you, Sister Hope. Maroon Five. The Five temptations. It's not by coincidence. The number five. Now, I need y'all to do one more thing before I go. I need y'all to pull up these logos on your phone right now. I need you to pull up. I need you to pull up Intel. I want you to pull up the Intel logo and the Dell logo. I'm going to show you two quick examples. Matter of fact, I'm going to pull it up on my son's phone because he don't need to be on the phone tonight. So hold on for a minute. This is my son's phone. I'm going to pull it up. Here you go. On my son's phone. Y'all still talking about the blues. Hold on for a minute. I'm going to pull up the logo to Intel. Go to images and just put in Intel. After you go to Intel, I want you to look. Watch this. You got Intel inside. Okay. I want you to also look up Dale, that's, a, that's something everybody know about. Let's get Dale. I'm going to show y'all some. How all of the logos and all the major companies are owned by the Zionist Jews too. Let's look up Dale. Y'all got Dale? Anybody got Dale? I'm putting in Dale in Google and I'm going to images. Can y'all see that? Sister Wooten said the Jackson 5 didn't work until Michael joined at the age of 5. Y'all are beasts. Y'all are beasts. Do y'all see that? I'm on my son's phone. Oh, Lord. What is strange about this? What is strange about this logo? What's off about this word, Dale? Not the circle. That, that does mean something. But what's strange about it? No. Nope. Almost, Sister Tosh. Almost. What is strange about the Dale? Quickly.
Nope, not a three. Tim Johnson, you got it. Tim Johnson, you got it. The E. Nina Monroe, you got it. Now, I want y'all to think about all of the logos you grew up with and you never paid attention. That they always do something to the E. Come on, Joe Brooks. Come on, Joe Brooks. You got it. They always do something to the E. Check it out. The E is the fifth letter, the quintessence. That's what it's called. Hold on for a minute. Lord have mercy. Got my son phone. He got a picture of his mama coming up. Watch it. Hold on for a minute. The E is the quintessence, the fifth letter. Watch this. Let's pull up another brand. E is important in occult symbolism. So in all your major brands, almost, they do something strange to the E, but y'all didn't pay attention. Neither did I, because we didn't know what to look for. Let's try another one. Let's try another one. Notice how they emphasize the E and ESPN. How about Intellos? Let's look at Intellos. I'm going to go to all the major successful brands. Let's see if I'm making this up. Is this a coincidence like everything else? Intellos. How about EA Sports? How about EA Sports? How about A&E? How about E-Trade? Why do you think they call it E-Trade? Why do you think they call it uh, ESPN? How about eBay? eBay. E-Trade. Acer. Let's go to Acer. Let's go to Acer. Come on, man. I ain't talking because I ain't got nothing else better to do. And I ain't stunning these haters either that's telling people not to listen to me. I put out too much good information for y'all not to listen. This is better than power. I, don't, I mean, no, hold on. It's better than empire. I, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can get it. I don't know if I can present this better than power. Y'all hang in there. We're going to make it better. Here you go. Acer. <clears throat> Acer. I mean, listen. Ebates. Do y'all see the E? Is the fifth letter. Now, let's look at the number 13 because I got to go. I, I sound like I got to go home. I got to go to bed. I'm at home. Jesus, I done broke a sweat. Listen good. <sighs> the number 13. Every time I come in here, I leave my money so I can show y'all. The number 13. And I thought I had a dollar in here, but I don't. Matter of fact, I do have a dollar. But I don't need it. You get a dollar out. And we ain't raising no offering. So watch this. The number 13 is also, and the reflection of 13, and the reflection of any number, is also a Masonic, heavy Masonic number. Okay, on the dollar bill, I need y'all to get this. The dollar bill, which came in because of the Federal Reserve Bank, the Federal Reserve Bank started in 1913. 19 what? 13. In 1933, they begin to print paper bills. With the pyramids and all the stuff on it. So let's go back. The word commerce means sex, by the way. Brother Ruben, you mentioned the word commerce. In a law dictionary, commerce means sex. Just like Congress. That's why they have an act of Congress. It's a sex act. It comes from the Roman Catholic Church. Where everything is done in Rome. We're living in modern Rome right now. That's why the term says all roads lead to Rome. When in Rome, do as the Rome men's do. But anyway, let me keep going. Knowledge is power, by the way. Now, 13. Watch this. Watch this. 
Yes, this is modern day Rome. Watch this. The Federal Reserve Bank started in 1913. Remember, we're talking about the number 13. In 1933, in 1933, they started to print those dollar bills. Y'all got your dollar bill out? Take your dollar bill out. I don't even have one on me. If y'all wait a minute, I'll go get one. Give me a second. I'm going to get a dollar. Give me a minute. I'm going to get one dollar and come back. Come on, you up. You up, sir. Okay, second thought, I'm not going to get a dollar. I can't find a dollar nowhere around here. Guess y'all ain't got to worry about coming to ride me. Now, stay with me. Stay with me. If you have a dollar out, notice there, uh, there's a shield on the dollar. Y'all locate the dollar with the shield? There's 13 stripes on the shield. Now, notice the leaves. Oh, Google a dollar. Duh. See, told y'all light-skinned people smart. Let me Google a dollar like I Google everything else. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. Bam. That's the dollar. You see the pyramid? You see how the pyramid has a disconnect at the top? That's called the head. The pyramid is a symbol of a man's penis. And the reason why the top of the pyramid is separated is because it's called the capstone. Whenever you hear about a capstone... The capstone is also the place where the head of the penis is. Now, you stupid digging your Now, there are 13 stripes on the top of the shield. See that shield right here? I can't make it bigger. I don't know how to work my son's phone. See the shield? There's 33 stripes, there's 33, I mean, there's 13 stripes, 13 leaves, 13 fruit. Watch this. Y'all think it's still a coincidence, huh? 13 arrows, 13 branches. Thank you, Brother Ted Daughtery. They still think, so y'all think that's a coincidence. Because there was a spaceship. Remember I told y'all NASA is fake. What I mean by fake. NASA is really Nazi. NASA is not who you think they are. NASA was started by the Nazis. Okay. So when they tell you stuff in NASA. Most of it isn't true. Folk walking on the moon and all that. I wouldn't believe it. Okay. Now. The spaceship that NASA talk about is the Apollo 13. The Apollo 13. Y'all, thank you, Michael Neville. Now, if y'all Google this, you'll see I'm telling the truth. The Apollo 13 took off at 1.13 p.m., which is 13.13 13 military time. Did y'all hear what I just said? The Apollo 13 spacecraft took off at 1.13, 13, 
which is 13, 13 military time. Help me out. I ain't never been in the military. Watch this. Sister Kalita said she wish she could cuss in here. Well, what was wrong, Sister? Did I do something wrong? Did I offend you? Watch this, Brother Rip. I know you're a researcher. Yes, Kevin Stokes. Bingo. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Now watch this. That's well, I, Sister. I'll tell you this, Sister Cheek. I don't believe nothing they tell us. Sister Karen Gay says 1300 is 1 p.m. Okay, so it's 1 13, 13, 13 military time. Help me out. I want to make sure I'm telling you right. Oh, I'm glad I got you hyped, Sister Kalita. Now, the Apollo, y'all check this out. The, uh, this is all fake. I keep telling you, they create this news. They tell us, just like they did Christopher Columbus and all this. They, they, now watch this. All right, we're right. So the Apollo 13 spaceship took off at 113, which is 1313 military time, and exploded two days later on April the 13th. Oh, hold on for a minute. 1313. Watch this. That's right. Y'all still think that's a coincidence since y'all talk about NASA? Notice I couldn't know y'all was going to bring some of this stuff up. I'm just responding. It's in my heart. Deacon Davis and my church singing is in my heart. If y'all bring it up, I could probably give you something about it. Okay? I I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. Now, that's a little bit about 13, like Michael Jordan. Like Michael Jordan, who retired February, watch this, who retired January the 13th, 1999. Thank you, Sister Gates. Like Michael Jordan that retired February the 13th. That's right. Your history books are all lies. Houston, we have a problem. And that's everything. You don't even know what you just said, Sister Kissa. Plain sight. Hey, pastor, tell the name of the home base and what the word mean. What home base? Kevin Stokes, tell me what home base. You may have to help us. You may have to help me. I'm not sure what you're speaking of. Help us out, Kevin. You come with it anyway. Bring it. And he came back as the number 45. Interesting. Oh, yes, Dominique Ross. NASA in Houston. <sighs> Houston Rockets. <laughs> I got it. I just figured it out. You help me, Dominique Ross. You help me. NASA is in Houston. Kiss a good one says, Houston, we have a problem. The Houston Rockets. I just sat there and figured that out looking at y'all. We y'all can listen, it don't get no better than this. We're figuring stuff out in real time. Now, oh Lord have mercy. I was tired, y'all. I was tired. Thirteen. I'm gonna do thirteens and then I'm gonna stop and take questions because it's late. Okay? I'm gonna take some Bible questions and let y'all go home so I can go to bed. Come on, ha come on, Havortis ha Powell. Come on, man. Houston Astros. Come on, Hinton. Apollo mission. Now y'all getting it. Everything connects. Are y'all starting to see how this stuff connects? Now, let me do a few more 13s. When you go to the movies... What do they call certain movies? PG-13. Remember, we played a video game, Deacon Jamal, on Nintendo in the 80s called Gogo 13, named after the movie. I think it is Gogo 13. McDonald's is owned and ran by the Masons. 
The symbol of McDonald's is not a McDonald arch. It's the 13. And I can prove it to you. Give me a minute. Let me pull up the McDonald's sign. I got to put a passcode in a 10-year-old's phone like he got girls or something. He, I don't know what he's doing. I got to put a pass. I know the code. Let me get that straight. But I just wonder what in the world he had. Hold on for a minute. Watch this, y'all. Israel flag. Let's talk about the whole Israel. Israel is one of the most demonic places that the church folks think they ought to keep, that they ought to look out for. Israel is a dump, a crack dump. Apollo 13. Come on, Dominique Ross. You on point tonight. Come on. Come on. Your husband would be proud of you. Matter of fact, you redeemed yourself because you started off rocky with them, 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 them scores. I guess it's showtime at the Apollo. That's good. Yes. McDonald's. Let me, let me pull it up. I'm loving it. Here you go. Here's the number 13 that y'all been looking at all your life and didn't know you was looking at it. Do you see the 13 now? That's what it is. Do you see it now? Y'all think I'm making it up? It's a 13, just like Arby's. Apollo Creed got knocked out by Rocky. Oh my God. God bless America. Lord. I'm done. Did y'all see that? Did everybody see the 13 in McDonald's? You ain't got to look hard. You just got to know what you're looking for. This is crazy. If you just coming in here, please go back and watch this one. This has been one heck of a night. And, I ain't and I'm just getting started. But I'm about to end it so I can take some Bible questions. Because they lied about the Bible more than anything. And I can't wait till I can get on that. See the 13? Let's see if Arb is the same thing. Look at Arby's. The 13, just like the McDonald's, the 13. Of course, you got the all C and I. That's on the back of your dollar bill. That's CBS, Colombian Broadcasting System. Colombian? All right. I'm going to stop for a minute, take some questions. We'll finish the numbers next Wednesday or whenever we come back on. I might need to take a breather. Even Power and Empire don't keep coming every week. We need to take a little breather and let folks miss us a little bit to see if somebody's going to support this move because it's real. It's real. I'm taking questions now, especially the people about church, church-related scripture, Bible. Send your questions now, quickly. Let's go. Everybody still woke? Who's still on? Who's still on? Yes, the race war is already going on, and it's been, the race war is actually, y'all need to let me do a teaching on, the race war is scripted. They want it to be a race war. They want us to hate white people and white people to hate us. In reality, even white people are not in the position that they think they're in. That's another day. Oh, Sister Yolanda McDowell, glad you're here. Didn't know you were in the room. Let's take some Bible questions. Oh, yeah. 
Let's take some Bible questions. Now, the number 666 is in the Bible, but it don't mean what you think it means. It doesn't mean Satan's number or the devil's number. 666 is the number of man. If I need to explain that, somebody put it down right now. Other than that, I'm taking questions. And other than that, I'm getting out of here. Yes, Brother Ruben, there is some questions about that. The days of the white is coming to an end. And, well, I hate to be the one to break news, but black people are not the people that's endangered. It's actually white people. And there's a guy that wrote a book. I can't think of his name. He's a, he's a European. Uh, one of my Caucasoid brothers. And he admitted that in Europe, they're actually paying people. Uh, I forget the actual term that you describe the money, what they call it. Not a stipend, but they're giving them some money to stay in that area, hoping that people will stay away. They want you to believe that black people are endangered. Because of black on black crime and all these different things. Listen to me. Here's a common fact. Okay. Explain what please. Devin Smith Smithson. I'm sorry. What did you want me to explain? Because I haven't heard anything from you. I want to make sure I give you an answer. Disney is full of magic, and the owner of Disney, the maker of Disney, was a 33-degree mason. Oh, the 666. Okay. So now, I'm going to give you a quick answer, but the rest you got to come to the Word Church and get. Okay? So, Revelation says, who can guess, and I'm just paraphrasing, it says, in Revelation 13 and 18, who can figure out the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. Okay? That's the riddle. What the Bible is telling us is the number of a beast is the number of a man. What people don't know, and y'all ain't going to like this, but stay with me. One of the biggest lies that we were taught is that God created man in his image. That is a lie. Genesis 1.26 reads in most translations, so God created with the ED man in his own image. ED is the aorist tense, okay? It's when you take English words and you put ed on the end. And when you do that, it makes it appear as though it's past tense. In other words, anytime you put ed on the end. Good night, Sister Leticia. Anytime you put ed on the end of a word. Ed. Okay? It looks like it's past. Well, here's a quick truth and I got to get to it. The real original scriptures don't say God created man in his image. It says he is creating. Now, that makes more sense anyway, because here is the key. If you're just tuning in, Sister White, please go back and watch this. We're two hours in, and I'm about to close. I'm taking Bible questions, but I'm so glad you came. Watch this. The Bible actually says, so God is creating man. Which makes more sense anyway, because if God created man in his own image, why would man need to be converted? Why would man, why would man need to be born again if he already is created in God's image? Another thing is the Bible says we were born in sin and shapen in iniquity. God is not sinful. He's not shaping in iniquity. So why do we think that we are created in his image? Now, what the Bible does say is that man is being conformed to the image. Romans chapter 8 says we're being conformed. Conform means we're being changed to the image. As we're being converted, as we begin to elevate, we go from a beast nature. Now I'm going to show you the beast. I'm going to show you the beast. Stay with me. The reason why the number of the beast is 666 is because God made man and the beast on the sixth day. It is not 666. It's six three times. You have to know what three means. And you have to know what six is. Six is the number of man. Okay. Six is the number of man. As we elevate from our beastly nature of sin. We are complete a number seven. And God makes us a new beginning a number eight. Are you listening? 666 has nothing to do with the devil. 
and everything to do with us. It is not a devil number. It is a man's number. People don't know what the Bible is talking about. And we really need to find some good Bible teaching churches that understand the scriptures. Okay? For those of y'all that's not afraid to come and see us, because most of the preachers tell you I'm the boogeyman, stay away from us because we teach the Bible. And who would, why, why would we do that in church? Teach the Bible. Anyway, come and see us at 4108 West Clay Street where we teach these things, and we love to teach the book of Revelation, some that most preachers stay away from. Okay, another thing about 666 is that man is made of the dirt. Six electrons, six protons, six neutrons. Six, six, six. Okay? I hope that gives you a little bit of understanding that the number of man and the number of the beast are the same. Because in our beastly nature, we are sinful. And both animals and man comes from the dirt. That's what Adam means. Adama, red clay, man of the dirt. Okay, next question. Next Bible question. Quickly, quickly, I got to go. Ten minutes and I got to go. By the way, I want to give a shout out. While I'm waiting on your question, for 13, uh, well, 13 weeks, okay? Is that making sense, Sister Pew? Is that making sense? Why would we be in God's image if we need to still be converted and changed? Why would we need to be changed from God's image? God's image, of, first of all, let me tell you how dumb we are. God don't have an image. God is invisible. So that's a parable. When he says his image, the only way we could ever look like God is to die and get rid of the flesh. Because it's the flesh that separates us from God because God is the spirit. And as long as you're in the flesh, you can't, watch this, you can't have total communication with God. That's right. If man gets rid of men's nature, of, if, if man can get rid of men's nature, Man's nature. He can then take on the nature of God. That is why we have to die. Kevin Stokes. Let me say this. I got to give a big shout out to two people. Um, after 13 weeks, can somebody put my website up where you can donate? Okay. Where you can donate or you can get, you can get these audio. For those that don't want to walk around at work watching it. You can get the audio sent to your phone. You can get the audio clips or the audio videos of all of my teaching, all of the Warfare Wednesdays, everything. Okay? The Bible isn't accurate. Depends on what you're talking about. God's word is accurate. There are different Bibles. The word Bible simply means biblios. Biblios means a group of books. Talk to me. We're, we are not spirit yet. Sister Jacqueline Pugh, we are made into spirit. Let me explain what that means. God took Adam from the dirt. The Bible says he formed the dirt and he breathed into the dirt. Panuma. He breathed what? Spirit. Spirit is panuma, which is the breath of life. When God breathes into the body, which is dirt, man becomes a living soul. So when you die, Thank you, Sister Cosby. When you die, when you die, your body loses its breath. The spirit, the breath of life goes. The body goes back to the ground and the soul dies. People have no idea what the Bible actually teaches. In the book of Genesis, it says just that. Okay? Now, let me finish giving credit. In 12 or 13 weeks, Pastor Rob dot us. Thank you, Sister Steph Kizzy. If you go there, you can go and, and, and make a donation or you can get some of these teachings on your audio so you can listen to it while you're exercising or going to work or whatever. Do you know only two people have made donations in 13 weeks? Yet you all go to your churches, you go to conferences, you go to the movies, you pay $10, you go out to eat, you go to games, and you don't get any of this kind of information. And most of us are Literally, gold diggers for information. If you have not 
gone and just taking time to be, to, to just be a blessing and give a donation or get some of that, please go to PastorRob.us. Sister Shelly, you already know about tattoos. You can get anything you want. The question ain't is, the question is not can you get it, it's should you get it. God already told us about tattoos. Tattoos come from something called bloodletting. Look it up. B-L-O-O-D-L-E-T-T-I-N-G. Got it? It's a ritualistic thing. It's very demonic. Yes. The Bible says that the dead are sleep because sleep and death are compared in the Bible. When Lazarus died, they said he's just sleep, but he was in fact dead. Good point, Sister Pugh. The reason why it says that is because while you are dead, you are considered to be in a temporary state of, of unconsciousness, like sleep. In which the Bible then says there will be a resurrection day. And when that resurrection day, we call it the great getting up morning. The reason why you call it the great getting up morning, fare you well, is because the dead will be awakened by, watch this, by a resurrection. The Caucasians are in danger, Brother Rip, because we keep mixing. Every time you see a black and a white person going together, it endangers the white. And I don't like the word race, but y'all know what I'm saying. It endangers white folks because anytime you put color in something that's all white, it can never be white again. If that makes any sense. OK, black people will always exist because we were the first to exist. And I am by no means prejudiced in any Shape or form, I'm just being honest. Everything came from color. <laughs> it is a spirit attached to tattoos and you can develop a soul tie. If you come out to the church on Sunday, I'm teaching on demons, curses, witchcraft, and generational curses this Sunday. I don't know, Brother Rip, that was kind of like a vague, quick answer, but I hope you got it. Sister Jacqueline Pugh, thank you. Go to my website, PastorRob.us. If you have not done it, I want to thank Sister J.D. Cooper and Sister April, Minister April Throckmorton, who both are the only two people to donate in 13 weeks. Anything. I get on here and I go three hours. Three hours. Your preacher, he take three offerings. And most of the time, you still don't learn nothing. Don't worry. Wait till I get to talking about tithing. And you'll see why I've been blackballed, why they've tried to stop me. For everybody coming in, go back and watch this video. I took sports apart again this week. I exposed more of the Vegas shooting. Our DNA genes are strong. We're the original. We are the ground. Everything about black people, colored folks, is stronger. That's why they want your organs. That's a fact. That's why your nappy hair is called a superconductor. Did you know the tighter and nappier your hair is, the stronger the ability you have to be healed from the actual sun? Did you know the sun heals your body? Did you know a lot of y'all are sick because you don't get enough vitamin D coming from the sun? No, don't ever be an organ donor. I don't recommend it at all. I can't get into why, but that's my answer to the question. I wouldn't be an organ donor. I really wouldn't. Yes, sir, Kevin Stokes. No organ donors. That's why we're working. Come on, Brother Anderson. Absolutely. Your hair is a tightly coiled superconductor. If you take an antenna, watch this. And I'm taking Bible questions, y'all, but if you take an antenna that's straight and an antenna that's coiled, the coiled antenna has a stronger, uh, has stronger capabilities. <sighs> Any more questions before I go? Shout out to your son. What's up, brother? What's up, young man? We miss you. Yes, organ trafficking has been going on for years by the Catholic Church. The Pope, 
who is one of the most disgusting creatures to ever live, but probably one of the most powerful, especially the black Pope. And I'll talk about all that another day. Okay. They've been selling black market, black folks organs for a long time. You got to know what the word organ means. That's why churches have organs and pipe organs, pipes. The twin pipes are the twin phallic symbols. Pipes meaning penis. You got to know about the strong organs. That's why the church always had an organ. Pipe organ. Anything else? Anybody want to know? Yes, our own people sell us out. Your president, President Barack Obama, is a is a Nazi fascist uh, communist puppet who sold all the black people out. And y'all gonna get mad at me, but it's true. No, I didn't know that, Sister Chief. Cremation. Look at my question. Cremation. What about, oh, is it a sin to be cremated? No. Why would it be a sin? And I'm not, being, I'm not being disrespectful, but let me just help everybody out. It's never a sin to be cremated. All cremation do is speed up the process and you getting back to what you're going to be anyway, back to the dirt. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. That's what the preacher say when he had to, at the um, burial ground. Next question. Miss sister Michelle, it's good to see you. You mean to tell me you couldn't ask them preachers that you be, you know, them churches that you go and visit? They got the smoke coming out and they got all the members. You couldn't ask them pastor these questions. These you couldn't ask those pastors these questions. Oh, okay. You know I love you, but I gotta ask you. They got people doing ballerina. They got smoke coming out the stage. They got big screens all over the wall. And they got 3,000 members, but you can't ask them no questions. And they ain't got nothing to teach you. That's why I don't waste my time with y'all get rich, build a big church schemes. Because they don't have half of what we put out. And I'm not trying to be arrogant to God be the glory. But if you come to the word church, you're going to know something when you leave the word church. These churches ripping people off. And I ain't calling nobody name because I'm done with them days as far as I can tell. But let's just be honest. I got to always hear a lot of people. I mean, come on, Michelle. You know, you, I'm crazy about you, but come on. You always want to tell me what I can do so I can make my church big like the other church over there. I ain't going to call a name. Yeah, well, my thing is this, Sister uh, Cathedral. I think it is cheap. If we know they don't know the information, why we still go to their churches? That's my only thing. People like to be dumb. I don't understand it. It don't matter what y'all asking me. Yeah, I mean, Brother Anderson, I've been putting this out there for 10 years. That's why they, I keep stressing. That's why they try to blackball me. That's why I get death threats. That's why they follow me around. That's why they came in the room tonight trying to distract us. Yes, C.J. Johnson, you're exactly right. Albinos, and I can't get into that, but I know where you're going, and I think you're headed in the right direction, if I, if I think you're talking right. By the way, good to have you, man. Please go back and watch this whole video. It's going to blow your mind. Thank you, Sister Cheek. Don't just do that. Help me. Help me, Sister Cheek. Help me. Why don't you come and be a part of truth? Why don't you help? Not just you, but everybody. You know, we come and soak this information up, but you can't get it nowhere else. You know where everybody going to be? Back at the big entertainment place on Sunday. Is it true, pastor, that Rome started the slave trade? So, yes, a lot of that is true. You got to be very careful when you deal with the Moors. But the Moors are actually a term... That was actually used by white folks to describe black people. Okay? People don't really know about the Moors. They have no idea. They are, they always have, listen, even white folks acknowledge the Moors. You're talking about the beginning of all, when you're dealing with the actual Moors, what it really means to be more, you're dealing with the original architecture of everything. Okay? People of color, the more. I ain't talking about none of this other stuff they're doing now. I'm talking about the original architects. 
Anybody else before I go? Any more questions before I go? I've been on for hours. What time is it? It's 11.30. I don't know about that, uh, Brother Powell, but I can tell you that a lot of bad is getting ready to happen. Nothing is going to get better at all. Walmart is subsidized. It's a government fraud. Listen to me. If you watch my old videos, I expose to you what Walmart is. I wouldn't buy any more food out of there. If you see me in there... I'm picking up a TV stand. I, and I really don't like to do that because I don't want to give him my money. <laughs> yes. That's why they keep them away from me, Sister Kisser. They keep people away from me. Morris people is people of color. Sister Whitley, you missed the whole video. Please go back. Thank you for coming and watch all my videos. It's going to blow you. I, one day, the first videos I spent showing you the roots to sicknesses. I talked about it a little bit, Sister Wooten. I don't believe that I, that no, that was also a government orchestrated event. If Kanika Jenkins did live and if she really died, then she was killed by the numbers as a ritualistic killing. Go back and look at the young girl who's a rock and roll singer. What's the girl that needed an organ? What's the girl that needed an organ not too long ago? She may be a pop singer or something. Salima uh, Gomez. Hey, thank you, brother CJ. Selena Gomez. She needed an organ, right? Her last music video before needing an organ, she shot the whole video inside of a freezer. Go look at it. Selena Gomez shot her whole video in a freezer. And then all of a sudden we get the story of Kanika Jenkins in the freezer. I ain't buying it. Sorry. Sorry. Come on, Sister Kalita, come see us. Man, listen, we, we should have been on TV. That foolishness that they play on Sunday morning called church is a joke. Straight up. They ain't preaching nothing. They ain't teaching nothing. People sick. People still need to be delivered. For, listen, if y'all think this stuff I'm telling you about the government is something, you ought to come and see how they lied to you about the Bible. I just broke down for you what 666 mean. Want me to tell you about hell? Hell was given to you by the Catholic Church to scare the hell out of you. Hell is real, but it's not a pit of fire where people are. There's nobody in a pit of fire called hell. The Bible never taught it. They are reporting military gunfights with giants. I don't have anything on that, brother. Real. Nothing. Yes, they're talking about money, money, money. And it does take money to run the church, but the people that come to my church don't pay tithes. They give from their heart. Brother Fonzo, we get ready to go home now, man. You got to come back and just check out the videos. We talk about everything. Y'all just hear what Steph Kizzy just said? She, she came on Warfare Wednesday. She came to the church just like y'all and has become a part. Ask her about how it's changing her life. She'll tell you. I got to go. Any more Bible questions before I go? I got to go. It's 1130. Okay, well, thank you, Sister Khalid. I'm glad that they did. Sister Nina Monroe, so did I. So did you what? Yes, Pastor Rob died us. Thank you, CJ Johnson. I've been on here for 13 weeks, preaching for three hours, giving people information. They can't get nowhere else like talking about it. And only three people have donated or two people have donated in 13 weeks. And I gave you both of their names. So, you know, I ain't lying. Pastor Rob dot us. Can somebody post that for my brother? Or you can come out to the church and see. But you got to be afraid. You, you got to You can't be afraid to step out of your traditional place. I'm telling you. The, the reason why y'all keep asking, I had people that inbox me. Oh, you came to the church too. You've been to the church, Sister Nina Monroe? Maybe I don't know who this is by name. 
Go back and watch it, Brother Fonzo. Alabama, thank you so much. Please share this. Can everybody just share this video before I go to bed, please? Just flood the timelines. Can y'all do that? I can stop this week. How much have you donated? Sister Shelly? You know I'm gonna pick with you constantly. I got to. Because you go because you would definitely do it to me. Yes, the Bible does discuss certain things that appear to relate to dinosaurs. I would have to get into it another time. I need everybody to share the video. I'm going to post it. I'm going to come back before the weekend is out, before Sunday, and pray for people, and I'm going to minister. One of the things I'm getting a lot of testimonies on or about is people being healed. Hey, I appreciate it, Brother Rip. You already know, man. Thank you. Thank you, man. Pastor Rob Dodds. Thank you, Brother Tyrone. Well, the Bible talks about one of the, this thing called the behemoth. It talks about that. It talks about the great sea serpent, Leviathan, which some people believe is relating to or has something to do with the dinosaurs. But I'll talk more about that when I get into Genesis. Genesis is the genes. They don't want to teach you truth. The church was supposed to be made to heal. These folk ain't trying to heal. I got people in here right now. If their pastor knew they was listening to me, they'd be kicked off ministry. There's probably three preachers in the whole city of Richmond pastors that would even look my way. And y'all know them because they come in here every Wednesday pretty much. The rest of them stay far away from me, act like I got the cooties because I preach the truth. And I don't care. I ain't tripping off. I'm just going to be honest with you. And then the other ones, they jealous throwing off about uh, because of warfare wins. It's just sad, man. It's sad, the condition we're in. I love preachers. Thank you, Brother Powell, for sharing again. I love ministers. And they try to lie on me and say, all he do is down and bash preachers. I ain't never bashed a preacher. I bash a false prophet. Ain't nothing I can say about a real preacher except salute and amen. For what? What I'm going to say about a preacher that's on my side? He on, if I'm on God's side and he on God's side, we're on the same side. Ain't nothing I can say about a real preacher. What it is, they know they're lying and ripping people off and they don't like me because I won't let them get away with it. I know how they do. They call, oh, he's a poverty preacher. How am a poverty? I said, nigga, you, I, I tell them straight up, I don't drive nothing that, 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 I don't drive nothing that's smoking the red light. I got a good roof over my head and I dress well. And let me, and, and let me tell you something. I'm far from a poverty preacher. I just ain't going to lie and manipulate God's people to, to get rich. I ain't going to do it. Thank you, mother. Women's conference is going to be off the chain starting tomorrow night. The Women's Conference st starting tomorrow night at the Four Seasons Hotel. Thursday, Friday night, and Saturday morning. <laughs> yes, they go on. Thank you, Sister Watts. They go on the internet where these people are chasing me around. One of the guys came in the room tonight. I blocked him. You saw one of the guys... Thank you, mama. Thank you. Mama, if your mama say you're good looking, you still could be ugly. Because mama ain't going to tell you you're good looking. But thank you anyway, mama. Let me say this. Uh, one of the guys came into the room tonight and tried to disrupt us. I had people to come and protest at our church. They put lies out. They say he's a young rebel with a bunch of young people. If you come to my church, I got deacons almost 90 years old. My church is mixed. Everybody from the youngest to the oldest. We got youth ministry, elderly folk, middle age, mothers, women's ministry, men's ministry, children's ministry. Everything. Derek Hood said his mama told him he was ugly. She might have told you the truth. I don't know. If your mama tell you that. Yes, they have a heckler and they make up all this crazy stuff 
They say, don't come to my church. They say, I got 10 members. They said, don't nobody go there. You should see the stuff they put online about me. But that's what they do when you don't pay tithes. And you mess with their money. I got to go, y'all. Any last questions? We'll come back and pray before the weekend. Before Sunday come, I'll come and minister. Yes, I am. And I need you to pray for me. If you know the word of prayer, pray much for me. Because we are under fire. Oh, okay. You see that, Sister Kissa? Thank you, Sister Gates. God bless you. When they can't refute the truth, they attack me personally. That's exactly what they do. They, that's exactly what they do. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. It ain't too much to me. I'm real. You see me in the street. I'm in the hood. I'm in the good areas. I go where I want to go. I don't got no bodyguards that had to follow me around. No armor barrels to hold up my armor. I'm, when you see me, I keep that bag with me. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no man purse either. I keep my girlfriend. The Holy Ghost is living in me. My girlfriend is not a woman, by the way. And I just go where I need to go. I'm real. I shake hands. I love the people. I keep it real with the people. I'm not perfect, but I love God's people and I will not lie. Sister Keita, you missed it. It was off the chain tonight. Thank you. Sister Lisa, come and see me. Come and see me. Sunday, I'm teaching on demons and generational curses. It's going to blow you away. Every Sunday service, I do live questions. At our church, when you come in, the ushers give you a program with a sheet of paper so you can write down what you want me to talk about every Sunday. Sister Kissa says they think I'm going to take their members and their car payment with them. Yes, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't want to say it, but yes. No, it's two videos, but the first video they canceled after 33 minutes. And they, they did, listen, I, I was up to 110 people live and they started knocking the people off that tens. Everybody watched. It went 90, 80, 70, 60, 50. When they got down low enough, for 33 minutes, they cut me off. We started 12 noon. 4108 West Clay Street. Thank you, Sister April. It was a little bit different. And I service Sunday, but we just, I never know what I'm going to be asked. And I didn't even know, I didn't even know if you were still woke or there, Sister April, but thank you. And thank you again, Sister J.D. Cooper, the two people that have donated and taken time to do anything for this information. You didn't have to, and I'm grateful. I'm very grateful. Sister April came to the service herself and tried it out Saturday, and... I guess she saw more than some young rebels in the church. I'm sure she saw a church full of old people. <laughs> she can tell you we're not a bunch of young rebels. We love, we sing, we shout, we learn, we ask questions, we talk. My services are interactive. The people that come to my church talk out like y'all are talking right now. They're my family. They're God's family. So Sunday, you don't want to miss it. If you're suffering from generational curses or you got issues that run in your family, like diabetes, the word diabetes simply means German for running through. Good night, everybody. Good night, Sister Cooper. Yeah, it's the truth. Folk ain't trying to come to no truth, man. Folk want to play church. Sister April said she saw a church full of people of all ages. That's the truth. And it takes special people. I got special people in my church. Because it takes special people to love truth. Thank you, Sister Karen. Everybody don't love truth. I love y'all. Can y'all do me a favor? Everybody share the video when I post it. Believe your mom. You are good looking. Don't try to be. Don't try to butt me up, Sister Shelly. Well, one thing about it, Sister Shelly. Out of all the faults I can find in you, ain't nothing wrong with your eyes. God bless you. You know I love you. 
Derek Hood said, yeah, we lit in the word church. That's a young person talking like that. God bless y'all. Love y'all. See y'all next week. Everybody share the video. Let's flood the timelines. Talk about, listen, start conversations about this. Make people ask. Talk about this. This is how we're going to go where we need to go. Love y'all. I'm going to play Deacon Shea's song before I go. If you missed the song he did. Deacon Shea did this rap song for our Warfare Wednesday. Oh, goodness. I think I'm going to be able to play it. Thank you, Sister Street. I'm trying to fa Hey, I'm Veronica. Love you. Password. Give me one second. I'm trying to pull up Deacon Shea's song he made for Warfare Wednesday. Then we're going home on that note. His brother Shay. By the way, look for the haters, y'all. They're gonna be trying to stop us, but they can't. Shout out to Deacon Shay Brown for this. Good night. Love y'all.